Hi, and the first thing is, we're going to zoom in. This group is zooming in on only one part of the economy, which is the debt. But this is the group called the Committee for a Responsible Budget. They've got people there from both parties, and their big focus is on reducing the debt. So they always say, we don't really care who does it, we just want it to get down. So in this analysis, which they call promises and price tags, they wanted to look at how would the debt do under both of these two, you see there, Clinton and Trump as president, and the policies they proposed so far. What they said is that Hillary Clinton, under her, the debt would go up, but only by a little. But under a President Trump, it would go up massively. That's the quote. Now, let's zoom in and look under the hood. What do they mean by that? Clinton, they said, it would go up $250 billion because although she is proposing a lot more spending than Trump, she is also proposing a lot more taxes that would sort of even that out. Now, the taxes would be on, as you know, richer and businesses. Let's go to Donald Trump. The reason they say the debt would go up massively is because he is looking to cut taxes. But at the same time, he would also increase spending. So imagine if you gave a big part of your salary, you've got a big debt problem there. So that's what they're kind of focused on, saying this is why the debt would go up. You should know that the Trump camp says, hey, but when we cut taxes, that's going to unleash the economy. And you've heard about that, right? That's called supply-side economics. It's a theory of economic history. All right, let's